Wait, why is it cold? Okay, stop, 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 Michael, stop, stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> Since 1990. we really can't travel anymore, I found this lost footage back from June 25th, 2019. And it was a story about pretty much why we almost missed the Michael celebration in Forest Lawn. As you can see, it was raining pretty hard. And we knew in our gut this was probably going to be an issue. But for now, let's get back to the rain. So because of the rain, our flight got delayed by hours. Here's a text between me and my mom. My goodness, our ETA was pretty much the time we were supposed to be at Forest Lawn. But you know what? At least it was a smooth ride once we got into the air. And oh goodness, what a roller coaster of a start. The rest of the While we're stuck in the air trying to get to our destination, MJ Fangirl is explaining to David where we are. This is Alicia, who's also from New York. Hey Alicia. This extra footage was provided by MJ Fangirl TV. If you would like to see what happened through her perspective, please check out the links in the description bar. Meanwhile, we finally landed and we're in the car. Now back to this footage. So for some strange reason, I'm making funny faces at the camera. We actually had to change our clothes in the bathroom. Here I am. <laughs> Surprising Rocky, there's Honey, and Shelly's the driver. My goodness, what we would do for Michael Jackson. We finally made it. I don't think I'm vlogging because <laughs> we just got here. But I'm here with my sister. Sunflower. I, <laughs> I, I don't even know if it's anything worth talking. I guess it's our own private thing, I guess. Private videos. So clearly this is no longer private videos if you are watching this right now. So basically, we were looking for our friends and just trying to make the best of the moment. By the time we got there, which was around 4.30, Forest Lawn was about to close. And um, we were just like, we're going to just make the best of the situation. We chose the color yellow this year because it was representing the sunflower. And it was Michael's favorite flower. And of course... Um, the MJ Innocent campaign was very strong this year. Since I didn't have much time to take video, I thought I would share with you some of the photo highlights I got from this amazing day. Him, but you know, it's been a good 10 years since he's passed. I've met some wonderful friends and um, traveled the world, you know, doing Michael Jackson stuff. His music still around his ears. Yeah. We have Michael Jackson for a while. Thank you If you're wondering if we ever found our friends, no, because they couldn't get back into Forest Lawn. There's MJ Fangirl and Greg. And they are just singing along with other moonwalkers all around the world. This footage was also provided by MJ Fangirl TV. And if you would like to see her live stream at this star, please click the links below. MJ Fangirl bumped into David again. And I remember David buying that glove back in 2014 at the MJ One store. It was definitely one of his favorite things. We'll be back at the Hollywood Star, but let's share where we are right now. So right now we're driving down Crenshaw to the Nipsey Hustle Marathon store. Look guys, I said I had no footage. Can I get a thumbs up for trying to be creative about it? Honey and I wanted to praise tribute to Nipsey Hustle, who passed away back in 2019. 
He made such a huge difference to his community and we just wanted to pay homage to his legacy. This footage right here is coming from Honey's Instagram. So show some love, follow her on Instagram, and thank you, Honey, for letting me use this footage. So we finally made it to the Hollywood star, our final destination for the night. This is equivalent to the Apollo Theater on June 25th. Here I am being interviewed by Leo from In Hollywood TV. So check out what I'm saying now. All right, we're Gadget Trip all the way from New York City. Now what brings you to Hollywood? Um, I'm supposed to be at the Apollo, shout out to, the, to New York City. But I'm really a different Michael Jackson's legacy. My whole entire social media career has been based on defending Michael Jackson's legacy. And of course, letting the world know the Jackson family legacy is equally important. So if you ever wonder, why have I been vlogging about Michael Jackson and his family for the last 11 years? It's simple. Michael Jackson's legacy matters. The Jackson family legacy matters. And I get the opportunity with a bunch of moonwalkers all around the world to represent that innocent and that legacy. And it's just another reason to just connect with people that you have so much in common with. And most important, what made me want to do this vlog is this guy here, David. Unfortunately, David recently passed away due to complications of COVID-19. He was a huge part of the MJ community and brought smiles and joy to everyone that came across his path. He impacted my life and we shared so many memories together. And I just wanted to let him know that he meant the world to me and so many other people. I will miss him doing Thriller and Bitted and all the things that brought joy to our life. And one thing I learned from 2020, never take a moment for granted, a person for granted, anything for granted. When we get through this, remember this and this alone. Life is short. Make the best out of it and do everything that brings joy to your life and the others around you. David, May you rest in peace. I love you, my special moonwalking Skywalker friend. God bless. <laughs>